recently I made a nice little pop. Nothing special, but um, I haven't got anything to show it off on. So I thought this week, why don't I make a nice sort of Lazy Susan type thing? So, I have a lovely bit of walnut and I have a Lazy Susan bearing. So what we've got to do is connect the two. The piece of walnut, which is going to be the display top, uh, obviously I want to shape the edges, but I want the top to remain flat and smooth and without any holes in. So I don't want to put a Wilma screw on, and I don't want to put it between centres because that would be a little bit wobbly, and uh, I can't put it in the chuck yet because there's no way of doing it. So I had an idea. Here's my idea. Now, you know when you have a face plate and you make yourself a little centre finding jig? Right, so now you've got that in mind. What we're going to do is, I've already put a tenon on the end of this piece of oak. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to drill a hole the same size as this into the middle. And then I'm going to cut it off. Probably about half an inch there. Right, so then... I will be able to find the center of my walnut disc here, hot glue this section onto the walnut, and then I can put it in a chuck and turn the underneath. So when I turn the underneath, what I can do is I can put a recess for the chuck and also do the recess for this. Weapon for choice for this job. It's going to be my 6mm carbide tool. Perfect. Right, so I want to pile it off about here. Before this is ready to glue onto my piece of walnut, what I've got to do is I've just got to face off this. Easiest way is to find a hole there, push the centre finder through the bit of wood, locate it, press it down. So I use a Stanley Zero GR25 hot glue gun. It's 80 watts and it comes with a high or low option depending on how fast and how much you want to get out of this glue. It comes with decent sized 12mm sticks or 11mm sticks rather. Now we're going to put this glue right around the glue block. There we go. In about five minutes and you can clearly see that the glue has gone opaque and it's ready to put on the chuck. So we've already got our Turning on there, tighten it up. 
So a quick test just to see how flat that is. And that's almost perfectly true. So you got a really good view of this. There's a Lazy Susan and it fits in and there's probably about three millimeters sticking out the bottom. So I want to reduce that to about one millimeter sticking out and then that will be done. About one millimeter sticking out, that'll do me. So my SK100 George from Axminster, they need a 69 millimeter recess. Uh, which I've measured on this. Just going to mark it off using the using it as an angle like that. So that one is the one that goes in the wood, and this one hovers above it. Turned it all off, all nice and smooth. Um, just going to put some sanding cedar on there. This is cellulose sanding cedar. It's more like a two to one mix, um, the one being cellulose thinners. There we go, that, that's how it's going to be in there. Uh, so using Hampshire Sheen Original, starting off. About 600 revs, a bit slower. I'm just going to put a thin coat on of this. Don't need very much. it's covered. I'm just going to leave that for a few minutes and then I'll come back and buff it off. Okay so it's been a few minutes I've set the lathe to about a thousand and I'm just going to buff that off. Yeah, lovely. Now the reason I use uh, Hampshire Sheen Original is because it has a very hard wearing finish. What I will do is put some micro crystalline wax over the top of that just to give it an extra bit of protection. Again, you don't need very much. I tend generally put this on with a lathe still. Just put a nice thin coat over the edge, over the top.
and that will just give it extra protection. So this is chestnut micro crystalline wax. I've used it for pretty much since I started turning um, and I love it. I think it's a great product. It's been about 10 minutes, so we're gonna buff it off. About a thousand, a thousand revs a minute. That is a bottom finished. So we're ready to take this off and reverse it. So using a thin parting tool just gonna take that off. Natural grain, simple shape, just gonna finish off that bottom surface. Sand this, Yorkshire grit it, well done. So I'm just gonna dust it off using this brush. Using some methylated spirits, I'm gonna take the rest of that dust off. So now we're ready for two coats of cellulose cedar. You 
you can really see that colour popping through now. So, Yorkshire Grit, one of the old style tins, oh yeah, old school. Nice bit of chatoyance in there. So now to back to Hampshire Sheen original. Put a little bit on because don't need much of this stuff. Something amazing though. So what it's going, it's quite slowly, just gonna Fast about a thousand. Cool. I've had to cut these screws slightly shorter um, because there's not much meat left in the actual thickness so I don't want to come through the other side so I've chopped them slightly shorter I'm just going to drill some pilot holes and then screw them in
cool so very pleased with that that was a very simple project but one that was uh, definitely needed um, and hopefully one that I'll continue to use so since UKIS in July I've been sent quite a few things um, and I'm going to be doing a video next to thank the people for those uh, as you can see the sticker wall is growing got one here from Rob Nichols of RN Timber Turnings um, he's one of the guys I'm going to thank and uh, of course we've got other people as well that I can't remember the na oh, yeah. and there's Norman and there's Greg and there's all sorts of people so I'll be doing a video with some shout outs and that sort of thing in there this is made out of walnut very simple shape but then what you're actually doing is showing off what's on top of it not this so this is not really meant to grab the attention uh, well that's the idea anyway so it's about six inches across and it is an inch and one eighth thick and I've used Yorkshire grit Hampshire sheen original and then chestnut microcrystalline wax over the top and there we go there'll be another video coming up soon so if you like this video, why don't you subscribe? Then you'll be notified of all my videos as I upload them. Hope you like it. Hopefully see you soon. Take care. Bye. Which is cool. It's not really, is it? No. Ta-ta! Do you much saving? No. Right, ha <laughs> ha, Yorkshire grits.